leading online food and grocery store Big Basket admitted to a potential breach that compromised the data of almost 20 million users. U.S. cybersecurity intelligence firm Cybel said in a blog that it found the database of Big Basket being sold for over $40,000 in the cybercrime market. Big Basket said it maintained only email IDs, phone numbers and order details and addresses which could have been accessed. The Bengaluru-based startup has lodged a complaint with the city's cybercrime cell and is evaluating the extent of the breach. Apple has put its Taiwanese supplier, Pegatron, on probation after finding that the company violated Apple's supplier code of conduct by asking student employees to work night shifts or overtime. Bloomberg reported that Apple found Pegatron to be falsifying paperwork in order to cover up violations. Pegatron is one of Apple's biggest supply chain partners that assembles marquee products such as the iPhone. OnePlus has warned users not to install the Stable Oxygen OS 11.0.1.1 update for the OnePlus 8 and 8 Pro after issues including a full data wipe of their phones. The company released a stable version of Oxygen OS 11 Open Beta 3 over the weekend, but multiple users experienced data loss once the phones were restarted following the update. OnePlus has acknowledged the issue and said that its software team is looking into the matter. Micromax has announced that the pre-orders for the recently launched InNote 1 and In1P will open from November 10th on Flipkart during the Big Diwali sale. The InNote 1 will be available in white and green colors at a starting price of 10,999 rupees, while the budget In1B will be up for pre-booking at 6,999 rupees for the base model. The InNote 1 will go on sale from November 24th and the In1B a couple of days later on November 26th. U.S. President Donald Trump will no longer receive special treatment as a newsworthy individual when President-elect Joe Biden takes office on January 28th next year. Twitter has confirmed that Trump's real Donald Trump account will be subject to the same rules as any other user when that transition takes place. Twitter's policy which protects elected officials with more than 250,000 followers doesn't apply to former elected officials. Developer BioWare has officially announced the Mass Effect Legendary Edition, a long-anticipated 4K remaster of the original Mass Effect trilogy as part of the N7 Day celebration. The iconic action RPG series is headed for the PlayStation 5, Xbox Series XS, PS4, Xbox One and PC sometime in Spring 2021. The collection will be coming with multiple visual enhancements including overhauled textures, character models, shaders and effects, all optimized to run at 4K UHD resolutions. Reuters reported that Samsung is preparing to launch its new Galaxy S21 series as early as late January next year in a bid to grab market share from Huawei and fend off competition from Apple. This is in line with previous reports, including that from popular tipster John Prosser, who said that Samsung's next-gen flagship will go on sale from January 29th. To recall, the Korean tech giant had previously launched its Galaxy S20 series in early March this year. Apple has launched the iPhone 12 Studio, a web page that is accessible on the web on mobile devices. The page allows you to customize iPhone 12 models with various MagSafe cases and wallets to see how the color combinations look. Users can also name and save a photo of the combination of their choice and then return later to buy it. Qualcomm CEO Steve Molenkoff reportedly said in a conference that by 2022, global 5G smartphone shipments will hit 750 million units. A year later, the number of global 5G connections is expected to exceed 1 billion, about two years faster than 4G. That number will grow three times to 3 billion in 2025, when 5G traffic will account for 45% of global mobile network data traffic.